Scienterman here. Uh, gonna do a quick demo of Maxwell Super Ultra Mega Awesome Capacitors. Um, just got a bank, four banks installed. Um, they're the black 2.5 volt 2600 farad ones. Um, hooked up with uh, a positive and negative, negative of 4 aught. So I'm just going to show some of the differences uh, with and without caps. So right now you can see negative lead is not hooked up. So not doing any good with the caps. And we're going to start with um, starting the vehicle. So let's go ahead and watch my voltage. Granted my battery um, is pr pretty dead up front, but uh, nonetheless, you can see the kind of drop you might get. So that dipped to like nine-ish point, mid nines, high nines, um, and really, I don't know if you were able to hear that, but it kind of roar, roar, and then started, which I don't know. I just don't like the sound of that. So we're going to now see um, voltage that's directly to the amp terminals it's been uh, DMM'd um, to be accurate just gonna kinda show you um, voltage drop with the high output alternator and a battery up front like what, what would you see in a normal system let me put on a good song to show this cause it's not also it's not only the voltage drops you want to worry about it's when your alternator is still outputting but the uh, low resistance has gone away so your voltage spikes up you might see that on here my alternator only does it a few times so and I'll be at 2000 rpm for this I'm the prince I ain't mad girl I can't stop just a nigga Sucking on a niggas like I'm trying to fix the blood I might need a fan, cause I'm a nigga I got that crap, when she say that I'm a favorite drug I wish to be on a bed, and I'm just a bad baby Yeah, I ate her out, but she gave me head back So, as you can see, even with a high output alternator at um, uh, 2000 RPMs, voltage is still all over, all over the place. As low as 12.2 on some dips, then the all kicks in, and then the load goes away, and it'll go up to like 14.2-ish when I charge at 13.8, pretty much consistently, even with temperature differences. Um, so now, go ahead and turn off the vehicle and hook the bank back up just gonna set the camera down it might do that weird thing where it tries to focus and then unfocus focus so I apologize for that screwed nice and tight and then just kind of fit my DMM leads in here oh they might not want to cooperate with me okay that's working okay capped hooked up they're resting at 13.76 right now, so go ahead and start the vehicle again. You'll see the massive difference. 0 0.2 drop at amplifier, which means probably at most like 0.5 drop up front, because I have uh, four out front to back, so voltage drop is going to be 
pretty negligible. Um, and we're gonna do the same exact song and watch the change in voltage. And at 2,000 RPMs once again. I'm the prince, ain't mad at the girl, I kiss the dog. Just to make a fool, I'm not because I'm deep in the dog. Sucking on a nigga just like I'm trying to taste the blood. I might get a spell, cause I'm a nigga blood. I got that crap, but she say that I'm a favorite drug. Okay, so now what you can see is uh, my voltage variance is uh, quite small. Uh, in the beginning, you can see that uh, I drained some of the capacitor, the capacitor somewhat, but um, I haven't been able to drop below 13 volts daily driving, which means you know 1,500 RPMs. Um, I guess that's just the sweet spot where the alt is able to uh, keep up. But uh, the things you'll notice is I don't have drops below 13.2 uh, when I was dropping to low 12s before. I'm not going above 13.8 ever. So um, this is basically illustrating one of the basic uses for capacitors, which is filtering. So this, even, I ha granted I have more capacitance than most people, but even with one bank, I would highly recommend it for any system, especially with a high output alternator. Uh, let's say you're running 15.2 uh, volts charging daily. Uh, in some vehicles, a spike up to say 16 could be a big deal. It could mean uh, a fried uh, ECM. But with a with super caps, uh, you know that's never gonna happen. Um, let's say you have a, a system with a ton of RMS, I mean just, you're, uh, you're pushing a ton of power. You don't have to worry about huge, like four to five volt drops because it's so gradual with capacitors and it really lets you have time to react to your voltage dropping. So uh, if in my example, I was slowly dropping down to um, high 12s, then low 12s, then high 11s, that's where a battery would start picking back up. And I highly recommend at least one battery um, with any just ultra cap setup, um, not counting your battery, because that provides a safety net. So if you're ever dropping, the battery is going to kind of absorb some of that, um, uh, I guess, uh, linear drop. Because with capacitors, you will keep dropping until you hit zero. And obviously, uh, a lot of your components in vehicle aren't going to like that. So, <coughs> um, but yeah, just anyone that says ultra caps can't be used in daily um, either hasn't tried or doesn't fully understand what they're doing. Because as you can see with the voltage, it's made a huge difference in several areas as far as voltage drop, voltage spikes, um, just general strengthening of your system. Um, that's why I'd highly recommend, it, recommend them. It's too bad that prices have like tripled um, in the past month or so, but if you can find them, 
Uh, definitely get your hands on at least a bank of them. Not to mention, I won't even go into this, but they are amazing for competing. As you can see, uh, <clears throat> my engine, any engine, especially for one larger like mine, the starter is going to pull a lot of amperage. Um, and I dropped 0.2 volts from the caps. Uh, that was at least a few hundred amps, um, probably more. And I know this bank could sustain over a thousand um, amps at full charge with barely any drop. At 13.8, uh, I'm probably at 70% charge. Uh, at 15, you know, I'd be at technically 100%. So, just wanted to make this video to kind of educate some people, show them the power of capacitors. Um, but yeah, so uh, signing off.